Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're watching episode six of Peacemaker. That is two hands and I'm upset. <laughs> I, 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 want, I want more than eight episodes of this show. And I know we're probably going to get season two. I think it's already been approved for season two. Um, but it's just, it's so good. Every time I watch it, there's always something, a surprise or a joke or like just even John Cena improv -ing that I'm just so happy about. Speaking of shocking things, John killed a gorilla with a chainsaw. I know he had a butterfly in its head. And so technically, like, the gorilla was dead so anyway. But wow, didn't expect that. Uh, Vigilante was very jealous, by the way. He, But he wanted to saw people with a chainsaw. Like, he... he Let's just not do anything with a chainsaw. Don't even cut down a tree with a chainsaw. Just let's leave the chainsaws at home, shall we? Uh, Harcourt is starting to relax a little bit and she's becoming friendly and she's sending group texts and she set the name, the 11th Street Kids, and uh, she's got friends. But this also bothers me a little bit because I feel like when somebody starts having a change of heart and they start caring about other people, they end up getting their heart broken somehow. And I worry for her because she seems like somebody who's been damaged before. Myrne and Leota are either gonna tussle or talk it out, hopefully talk it out. Uh, I totally would have 100% of my money on Myrne in a fight. Um, and I was straight up terrified of him because with a butterfly in his head, you don't know, like, does that change him? Or is like, there's still Myrne in there? Because I know that when the butterfly takes over someone, they're essentially dead. And so that like makes me worry that we're going to have to kill off Myrne because he has a butterfly. Hmm. Unless they have a good way of exiting, but I, I, I don't think so, man. I mean, maybe you could poop him out? I don't know. Sneeze him out? I've seen weird things. I've seen weird things. Uh, August was in jail, and then he was almost out of jail, and then he was back in jail. Much to Song's dismay, she would love to put that racist away. But she also wants to serve justice to the right person. Which I really value that in her. I really like that about her. But she's feisty. I love her. So feisty. But when August is put back in jail because of their new captain, who I still don't quite know who he is and what he's about, but he's creepy. He's very creepy. Uh, but Myrne pretty much is working with him. But Detective Song's gonna go talk to Judge Judy. <laughs> Uncle Judge Judy. That's a weird sentence, is it not? <laughs> I love this show. I love this show so much. Some of the stupidest stuff comes out of my mouth just recapping a previous episode, and I love it. I love it. Um, and Peacemaker finds a bond with John, and he finds a bond with Leota. The bond with John, obviously, over a bloody dead gorilla, the Econogoat. I mean, that's, that's a real bonding moment for dudes. Um, but with Leota, it's more emotional. And then she plants the diary and breaks my heart. I don't know what's going to happen with the diary. I don't know what its significance is. Um, it can't be good. At least I, I don't think it could be good. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see Waller helping Peacemaker out one bit. But I guess we'll find out. So I've got my rosé. Let's get into it. But I do not have any hot Cheetos this time. I am very disappointed. There's literally a gas station, like, a two-minute drive. I could go get some. I'm just too lazy right now. Hardcore! Hand me my gun! She knows? What? What the fuck? You know, at least Harcourt knows. We need to talk. She doesn't have a butterfly, does she? she figured it out when a bomb exploded in Myrne's face and he barely took any damage. Mm. And I confronted him, he came clean. The one in golf, she's our leader. Why she? Well, she had a vagina. <laughs> Aliens got vaginas. 
What was her real name? Unlike humans, we don't name our genitalia. No! <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna live out our lives. But then Goff and the others started planning. For what? How to dominate your world. Mm. I was the sole dissenter. They said I was oversensitive. That's when they started leeching. Using humans in positions of power as hosts. Yes. Yeah, you killed someone. Whoever murdered really was. I needed to stop them. So I inhabited the worst person I could find. So the butterfly made Mern better? Even he could have changed. I know that. I took that from him. And every day I dread waking up to his memory. Does Okanamos know? He knows. He doesn't want Waller knowing he's keeping something from She him. doesn't know? No, and you can't tell her. Oop. They don't move the cow. The cow. The cow. Yes. What cow? You forgot to tell her about the cow. Do you really there's a there's a near nothing there's a badass dance i'm gonna watch for the next minute and a half is what's gonna happen Mern after reading what you got something to say okay written and directed by james gunn i get really excited and that's how i defeated kite man one of the world's most dangerous villains with only my two fists my desert eagle and two rocket launchers <laughs> just two yeah uh gender swapped alfred newman have you ever met a flash Urkel. <laughs> Have you met Wonder Woman? <laughs> met her, but she did spend an entire party IFing me from across the room. Dude, I said effing. Any more questions? Uh, Jamil's kid. Do you have an origin story? Ooh. It's probably not a good one. It probably starts with a lot of abuse and neglect. You dumb fuck, you killed him. Not in a traditional sense. Any, uh, any more questions? Scary arms. Did you know Becky Coolidge? That's my mom. She used to bartend in the Starlight Lounge. Becky Coolidge, yeah, that's right. I haven't seen her in like 10 years. I think you might be my real dad. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Adiva, for bringing your uncle Peacemaker. <laughs> he should have brought Eagly with him. That would have been a hit. Probably would have pecked a child, but it would have been a hit. See you soon, bitch. Or as they say in your language. Ching Chong Chickadee Chopsticks. Ah! Uh. I think your Google translation's off, Foggy. That means my haircut looks like a donkey took a shit. <laughs> Detective Saw! We can rightly have two people in jail for the same crime. You have got no idea what you're fucking with here. He looks like he would eat a person. There's something wrong with that guy. Mm -hmm. Get the troops together. Let's go get Peacemaker. Good luck with that. We're two balls. Well, I want to go home, get a shower, maybe have a broad over to suck my dick, and then I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. Kill my fucking son. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. I always smile so big when I see Eagly. Getting hungry there, Goff? He calls it Goff. Wait, so that's the queen. That's the, the ick ick vagina butterfly. So she's actually going to like Peacemaker because Peacemaker kept her alive. How do you know you can trust him? I don't. It's an educated guess. I trust logic. And Mern's help does way too much to be lying. True. Adebayo knows Mern's a butterfly. La, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. That's me running around the office anytime the doctor wants to talk about Peacemaker with my other coworker. Peacemaker is a trained killer. Do not hesitate to shoot him if he shows resistance. Uh Come in, Adrian. How did you know it was me? You knock in a very annoying way. <laughs> Dude, you still have that thing? He tried to kill us and he cut off half my toe. Sometimes I just think I'm insecure in my masculinity, so I'm making up for it by having a dangerous pet. You know, like one of those knuckle dicks in Georgia with a tiger on a leash. <laughs> Word. What is Goff doing? <laughs> Oh, peace. What the fuck? It's a peace sign. She comes in peace. One tap is yes. Two taps is no. Do you understand? I love it. Is that a peace sign? Oh, God. What's your favorite color? That's... Dude, it's, it's yes or no questions. I just said it. Is your favorite color teal? Yeah, and why would you give a fuck what his favorite color is? And why are you starting with teal? <laughs> 
that is mildly interesting, but he just drew a peace sign on the jar. Don't we want to see what's up? Yeah, with that's that? way more interesting. Why did you put a peace sign on the jar? It's yes or no. It's yes or no. It's only fucking yes or no question. One yes or no. Two, don't be a fucking moron. How am I supposed to follow that second rule? <laughs> Your preferred conversation partners are Eagly and Goff, neither of who are capable of speech. Try introspection on that motherfucker. There. Sorry. Aww. <laughs> I just surround myself with things that don't talk back, and maybe I just you shouldn't blame yourself. Dude, fucking, I'm talking. Listen. I'm getting this weird feeling that you're angry. <laughs> Goff, are you here to put babies in us like an alien? Why is he sad? Well, how else am I going to experience motherhood? Oh, that's actually sweet. No, thank you for so me, but... can help you get back home like an E.T. Huh. Are you here so you can play us a shitty song like in Close Encounters? <laughs> uh, that's actually delightful. Have you tried Vigilante? Good job, John. That's his ringtone. <laughs> Vigilante? I I don't know that person. They can't but... see you, goofball. What's so urgent, man? If you're at home, get the fuck out. The police are gonna be there any second with an arrest warrant. I'll grab Goff. And set eagerly free. Oh, I was like, what is he gonna do with a broom? <laughs> Don't shoot the bird. That's like unforgivable. Come out now with your hands up. Stuck taping it to I his body. Goff to me so I, have both hands free. I hope that doesn't break. And what if Goff goes up Vigilante's butt? That is a weird sentence that I just said. But that's like a really nice sunroof that that trailer has. I'm just gonna point that out. Toss the place. Oh, the butterfly goo. Oh, what about the alien thing? The diary! The diary! The Yoda! That is a very bright outfit for him to wear and not... Like, not blend in. Fitzgibbon, doesn't Smith have a pet eagle? That's the rumor. I think I just saw one jump off the roof. Don't you dare! Song I Like You, do not shoot at the eagle. Yeah. Yeah, put it away, Psycho. I love Adrian, but wow. Don't slip on the moss. I figured there's a reason why they were focusing on the moss. I did not expect that to actually happen. song is gonna die or like they that she's essentially dead <sighs> quit taking cool characters and killing them at least at least it wasn't adrian at least it wasn't vigilante <gasps> eagerly you badass I love Eagly so much. No, no, Eagly, no. Yeah. Oh God. So don't don't peck out eyeballs. I know that that was my fear since the beginning, but damn. <gasps> Fuck, Lock. Do you want to ask stupid questions, or do you want to live? Live. Go. Run. That's so f***ed up. Where are Peacemaker and the buffoon? Well, you, 
Okay, you need to sit still. Look at her. So it's like a soldier, super soldier, just right into it. Cold heart. No, the fuck do no, no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Get back. <sighs> it was a secure phone. I can't fucking track it. Oh. My bad, then. Sorry, dude. That was a pretty big fuck-up. It sure was. Yeah. Fuck, them a super cute picture. <laughs> Been, oh, Been there. What the fuck are we caught up in, man? That guy just executed those dudes. <laughs> you know, how fucking cool was that? <laughs> we used to go out, kill bad guys, boom, 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 no problem. We accidentally kill the wrong person. Oh, shoot, bummer. That stinks. <laughs> now suddenly you've got this weird new age belief that all life is sacred? He didn't say all life. Give me your phone. They could be here any minute. You smashed mine, I'm using yours. Mine isn't secure. Too damn bad. Oh my god, I love that shot with both of them and Eagly in the middle. Number. I know my own birthday, dude. <laughs> no, it was a Caucasian man about five and a half feet tall. Red hair, striped shirt with a red tie, had a black mask, and uh, I think it was a... Fedora. I feel like I should know that reference and I don't. But I think Locke was just describing the fucking Hamburglar. <laughs> Shirt, red tie, fedora, black mask, that's the Hamburglar. McDonald's mascot? No, McDonald's mascot is Ronald McDonald. I think Locke's working with them. Yeah. Hey, so you need to lie down. You had a concussion. I'm fine, human. Does anyone know about Peacemaker having a diary? What? What? Nothing. Hey, you have a diary? No, they found one in your trailer. Bullshit. I got a notepad, but I barely ever use it. Got that. Goff got out. Oh. Kept Goff? Because Peacemaker has masculinity issues. It's like a knuckle dicks tiger. And I kept him because I wanted answers. And I knew he wasn't going to get out. But then he got out and took over an oriental woman. Asian. Pretty sure she was oriental. You're not supposed to say oriental anymore. She's Asian. Asian. Nobody knows why. It's just bad. <laughs> Oriental insinuates others, so some people consider it derogatory. Thank you. Now the Asian cop is golf. Insofar as how much he likes teal, though, we're clueless. <laughs> that psychopath murdered three cops and one was unconscious when he did it. I do feel that she was fond of you. Who? Sophie. You? Sure. <sighs> I'm so sad about Song. I really liked her. Hey, there's something weird going on. You think me and Vigilante are too stupid to notice. Hey, everyone, look! Which one's me and which one's Eagly? Okay, you're mm. half right, but you scored <laughs> cool. What do you get? A D. Yeah. We have reason to believe that the butterflies have a cow. When were you gonna give me that bit of information? Oh, and I'm the asshole here for actually believing we're our fucking team! Oh, yeah. no. They need to tell him. His friend didn't tell him. Oh, wow. That's a lot of spaceships. Ew. Of course, he would do it with a skinhead. He's gonna put on his outfit, isn't he? Oh, no. Oh, damn it. My god, is Locke there? Oh, he's not gonna get away. I'd say close your mouth, but they probably can run up your butt. Couldn't happen to a better guy, but good grief. I mean, if you're gonna pick somebody to be the queen, it might as well be Song. Oh, man. Oh no, all the prisoners too! Oh god. Oh, these creepy smiles. <laughs> it went from creepy to like actually kind of humorous. Just remember there's weaknesses in that armor. She is putting a dove of peace on that weapon. That is adorable. It's a P90. I put a dove of peace on it for you. Yeah, 
It's facing the wrong way. Still should be on the right. Ah, oh, peacemaker. Super nice, though. Thank you. Sure. I know when we first met, I said I thought you were a total piece of shit, but I don't think that anymore. Oh. Eighty-five percent a piece of shit, maybe, but the rest of you is nice. Chris. Oh, it makes me happy. Not a love story, a friendship. Does he play piano? Has James Gunn do this to me every single time? Suspect's job to find and kill them. Smith not only to the murder of Annie Sturphausen, but directly to the murders of Senator Lloyd and Goff and his family. Find and stop the peacemaker by whatever means necessary. What the fuck? All the kids' names in quotes, but it's the nicknames that Peacemaker gave them. <laughs> I love you, James Gunn. <laughs> okay, what's the after credit scene gonna be? I'm gonna guess it's Vigilante and Peacemaker still talking to Goff Butterfly. Don't let me down. Look sad. Nope. Fucking hell. Come on. <laughs> oh, look at you. Okay, I was completely wrong, but that was satisfying. James Gunn made me cry again. He made me cry again. He is such an amazing director and writer, and he gets the best performances out of his actors. You know, I, I know like it has really nothing to do with the story as far as I can tell with just this episode, but you know, John Cena playing Peacemaker, Christopher Smith, but playing that piano. Is there anything John Cena can't do? Why am I crying again? Okay. Stop it. I just, <sighs> Every episode, I feel like all I ever do is gush about John Cena and James Gunn. And there's so many wonderful things like performances, storylines, everything that happened in this. And damn, does it just stand out that James Gunn can write an episode. And John Cena is just, man, I am so impressed. I am so incredibly impressed. So let's get to the story. Enough gushing because I'm sure it gets a little thick. Um, so Mern tells Leota, which we find out that both John and Hartcourt knew, although John does the la 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 thing, which I do anytime I think somebody's giving me a spoiler to any show. Not even one that I've seen. If somebody starts talking about a movie they saw over the weekend, I'm like la 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 la. Very loudly. I don't want to hear it. So I'm with John. I'm with John. The less I know, the better. Um, but the fact that Hartcourt figured it out and confronted Mern, and the, the the butterfly that's in Mern genuinely feels guilty for taking over Mern's body. And I was under the impression that the Goff butterfly was um, a butterfly that we, we wanted out there, but then it became very apparent that she is the queen and she is definitely wanting to take over the world. Um, Sophie's the perfect person to do that. Detective Song is uh, a, a harsh individual who takes no shit. And definitely the uh, invasion of the butterfly body snatchers in the police station was terrifying and disgusting. And the, the part where they're walking down the hallway and they're all practicing their smile. <laughs> Jesus. It, it was a little 
cheesy and then it went to creepy and then weird to like very entertaining especially Locke. that man I, like he just has a creepy face he just shouldn't smile in general but then to like pretend smile <sighs> uh we also saw august you know he gets out and immediately goes into white supremacist mode and he's ready to white dragon his son and just kill him <sighs> which is I, I honestly, J James Gunn doesn't give us any information that we're not going to need in the future. And Vigilante pointing out that there's weakness in August's armor as White Dragon, I feel like is going to come in handy at some point. Um, I feel like there's there's two factions of enemies here, though. There's August, which they don't even know is an enemy at this point. And then there's the butterflies. And... It, it's, <laughs> I was just thinking, it's the Lannisters and it's the White Walkers. Like, shit. Which one's actually worse? And uh, who, who gets taken out first? And, and, and I, I, don't, I don't think he'll kill his father. Um, he might maim him. Or his father might fight with them and then they have to kind of work with a white supremacist. I don't know. I don't know. Speculating. Just speculating at this point. But I have no idea how this is going to play out. Um, and I love that. Jeez, I love this show. I love it so much. I have no idea what's happening half the time. Um, the diary wasn't an issue and then it was an issue and then it wasn't an issue and then it was, in fact, an issue. And so we know that people are coming after Peacemaker. And it's it's great that he admitted to Harcourt that he doesn't want to kill people anymore. That's big for him. Um, it's big for her to, like, open up to him. But, like, you know, for, for him to share that with her, you know, that's a very vulnerable spot because that's what he's known for. And the thing that he's known for that people are coming after him for is no longer who he is. And the fact that Leota had a hand in it and that Waller was behind it, Oh, I hate Amanda Waller so much. But it's only because they've made Peacemaker a great person. If if he wasn't, I'd be like, eh, okay. <laughs> but, like, they've turned him into a human being that I actually care about, and I want good things for him. And, eagerly, 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 also a Stone Cold Killer. Yeah, at first I was just like, what a great pet. Eagly, so great. Look at him taking out the cops. And then he's like pecking a cop's face. Oh, he's hardcore. Very hardcore. I still like Eagly. I dig Eagly. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that Goff didn't take over Eagly. I'm happy Goff didn't take over Vigilante either. I was really worried about that when I heard the jar break. And I was like, oh, Goff's going up Vigilante's butt. You know? But I'm glad that didn't happen. I don't even know what to expect in the next episode. Like, like every episode leaves me so happy with what I watched, but very confused as to what to expect is next. Uh, I, I love it. I love it. I feel like I can somewhat connect the dots while I'm watching, but it's only for that episode in particular. Like, I don't know what the end game of this show is. And I love that. <laughs> I love it so much. I feel really dumb that I didn't get Hamburglar. I mean, I thought about it, but I can't tell you that I, I, I got that one even a little bit. Yeah, that made me sad. I'm really pretty good at that. I, I normally get references. Okay, guys, you can find me over on my Instagram, Funny Little Gal Reacts. Uh, I always try to have conversations over there about the content whenever need be, or even just when I post certain things, like, um, like the, 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 the Peacemaker Pops that James Gunn just posted on his Instagram. How cool is that? Uh, complaining about a possible direction the Kenobi series has taken. You know, or I'll just share pictures, videos, whatever it may be. Sometimes things just from life. <laughs> but if you leave a comment, like I said, I always try to respond to those whenever I can. But yeah, God, I love this show. And on that note, I'll see you.